Today I'm playing Caitlin Clark's entire WNBA career, seeing if she lives up to the hype and becomes the greatest WNBA player of all time. As y'all see, we got the 2024 rosters. Asia Wilson still the best player in the league. Caitlin Clark right there at second. Y'all might be saying 98 overall, she just a rookie. That don't matter. Did y'all see March Madness pulling like that? You could be a rookie with a 98 overall. Cardoso right behind her with a 97. She went undefeated. She deserved a 97. Angel Reese at a 90. Who the hell? All right, I guess that's Angel Reese. She got a 95 overall. The Chicago Sky is going to be tough. Just when you thought Kaylin was done going up against super teams, now she got to go up against a super team in the WNBA. I don't know how she going to beat them, but we going to see. Simulating this first season up to the All-Star break, they not really doing that great. Still one of the worst teams in the league. She did become one of the All-Star team leaders her first season, though. Not the best on the team, but hey, she was there for 29 minutes. She loses out on the Rookie of the Year award to Camilla Cardoso averaging 17, 9, and 5. Once again, losing to Camilla in the end. This is tragic. She did make the all WNBA first team, though, averaging 14 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal, and 0.5 blocks. 2 turnovers is crazy. You got to get that together. She shot 47% from the field and 40% from 3. I wonder how many did she knock down this season. She shot 247 and knocked down 101. So the shooting is translating very well. It's just the turnovers. Her playmaking got to get better and and the points per game, I'm sure that's going to go up. How you a 99 overall, though, averaging 14 points per game? She did make the all-defensive first team as well, right alongside Angel Reese. Let's see what this fake Angel Reese. Yo, she averaged a double-double and didn't win Rookie of the Year. Sadly, Indiana did not make the playoffs, though. So let's just see who ends up winning. The Las Vegas Aces do it again. Asia Wilson winning finals MVP, averaging a double-double, 24 and 11. 19 for 20 from the free throw line is crazy. Nobody else even got close to that. That brings us to year two the indiana fever has drafted another 99 overall shea ingram this should help them win way more games than they did last season because that was just embarrassing we finna find out though it's looking amazing off rip this time caitlin doesn't lead the all-star team but she does make her second all-star game she ended up having 15 points and 10 assists actually outperforming camilla and that was the team captain as well as asia hold on she came out here on a mission they finished second in the league caitlin once again winning no awards but she does make the all WNBA first team again averaging 15 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal, and 0.3 blocks. Her shooting efficiency went down a bit. That's not good. We don't got time for shooting decreases. She doesn't make the all defensive first team this time, nor the all defensive second team. So it's looking like she kind of decreasing. I ain't gonna lie to you, but they the first seed going up against Phoenix. They absolutely dominated Brittany Griner and the Mercury. So I figured I might as well just hop in here and get a couple shots in. You know what I'm saying? That won't hurt nobody. Goddamn, back up, girl. Ooh. Let me lock up though. Hold on. Blamps, blamps. Yes, sir. Blamps on all that. Van Lift, you get no buckets. Yes, sir. I'm leaving you wide open. Cloud, no buck. Okay. Guard down low. Great jump. Great jump. Grab that board. Oh, y'all got to grab that. Goodito. Yes, sir. We out of there. We out of there. We out of there. We. Caitlin, pull up. Dang. Back on this side. Back on this side. Oh, no. It's all good. They still down by 30. Oh, over here. No way. What is she? Wide receiver? Lock up on Haley. Yes, sir. Great defense being played. They trying to get Brittany Griner to carry him. I'm on all that clout. Why am I just getting threes drained on my face? I'm getting at least one more three. You better step up. We end up winning game one by 30. Game two, once again, a blowout. The Fever eliminate the Mercury, 78 to 64, sweeping them. They now head to Dallas to face a familiar foe, Flage Johnson in the wings. Game one, Indiana applied that pressure. They up 91 to 82 with 45 seconds on the clock. Step back, Mitchell knocking it down. Johnson with the ball in the corner. They setting her a screen. She gonna run around at us. Uh, step back. Back three that's in there gotta knock it down 85 93 down by eight is still a chance not that big of a chance though mitchell dribbling the down court pass up to caitlin did they get one last bucket yes they do mitchell knock down and that's the dagger caitlin to indiana takes game one i should be saying kelsey in indiana 34 points she's carrying caitlin with 18 points 12 rebounds almost had a triple double eight assists three steals she shot four for 14 from the field three for 12 from three 
Now, first it seemed like she was going to be going crazy in the league. Now, she is just not herself, but her teammates is keeping her in it. Game two was absolute destruction. 72 to 117. The Indiana Fever might just be the best scoring team in WNBA history. I don't think that we are going to see anything else like this for quite a while. Everybody on the Fever did their thing. Caitlin, she had 12 points, four rebounds, and nine assists, along with three steals. Kelsey Mitchell, on the other hand, you let us down this game. But hey, come back stronger in the next game. Game three, the story will be no different. 86-82, Indiana up. They is not letting up on them at all. I doubt Ingram is missing any of these. She knocked that first one down with so much confidence. The second one had no choice but to go in. Dallas passing the ball in with seven seconds on the clock. Flaj, they do not miss. I haven't seen her miss yet. They only down by three. Wait a minute. I thought this game was over. Hold on. 85-88. They foul in immediately. Ingram don't miss free throws, though. That's the thing. I guess she knocked down both of these, and they try to get the lead down to two, and they maybe, you know, make a game winner or so. I don't know how they gonna do this, but they gonna try. You already know they gotta be going right back to Flage. She knocked the thing down. She got the hot hand. Ain't no way they don't go to her. They don't go to her. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Yo, these shots that are going in make no sense. All right, down by two, one second on the clock. Can they foul fast enough? No, no, no. Indiana wins game three. Moving on to the WNBA Finals. Can Caitlin Clark win a championship in just her second year? Game one has been a very back and forth battle so far. Here we go. Gray with the ball in. Oh, it looked like she's trying to drive to the basket. Asia with the wide open cut, but misses the layup. They started clamping. Indiana going back down. They got the lead. They can expand on it. Here we go. This is their chance. Ingram running around. They set the screen for Smith. Smith, what are you doing? What's the game plan? Drives. Layup makes it. Asia, what do you got from? You know that the MVP is trying to hit him with the meanest moves. Ugh, big body. Misses the layup once again. No, Caitlin running the fast break down court. I thought she was from the pool. That was going to be crazy. Six seconds on the clock. Five, four, three. Oh, no. Mitchell just got to force it. Bucket misses what is the game plan for the las vegas aces they go right back to their best player asia wilson the mvp dominated down low oh my goodness 40 seconds on the clock smith with the basketball they running another pick and roll here we go oh ran to perfection oh gotta make that okay i was about to say did she just dab? What the hell was that? The two-time champs down three. If Indiana can win game one, that would be big for them. The Ace has been here before, though. They not nervous at all. Caitlin getting absolutely dominated by Asia. Ace is down by one. You already know they got a foul. The biggest free throws of Caitlin Clark's career knocks down number one. They up by two. Can she knock down number three? She does. They go right back up by three with 15 seconds on the clock. We already know what Las Vegas is going for. The question is, how do they get there? Though. Stokes was wide open. Oh my gosh. Wait, why did they just leave her open like that? Tie ball game 87 87. Seven seconds. Okay. Caitlin Clark. Moments like these make legends. Listen, ain't no way they go to the rookie Ingram over Caitlin. Yo, they just sent her to the corner. Smith, turn around. And we go into overtime. In overtime, Indiana will completely dominate the Aces, winning 105 to 97. Caitlin with a double double, 18 and 12. She in the running for Finals MVP, man. Three steals, two. Ooh. Game two once again coming down to the wire. Fever up by one with a minute on the clock left. Mitchell dribbling the ball down the court, driving to the basket for the easiest lay of her life. Why did they got Caitlin on Asia though? Asia's hella big. This don't make sense. She was not ready to get posted up by a shooter guard mitchell looking like she's trying to get to that basket once again step back misses the mid-range ball hogging 26 seconds on the clock 89 to 90 they cannot give up this lead bro las vegas is not gonna let up if y'all give them enough momentum here we go to rookie ingram trying her luck and it works out you know las vegas is gonna go straight for the fouls but we also know ingram don't miss she makes both free throws las vegas is gonna have to figure out a game plan quick did they go into overtime for a second game in a row or did indiana get defense good defense good goddamn defense indiana wins game two going up 2-0 in the series clark is on her way to her first WNBA championship in year two she had 19 points five rebounds seven assists las vegas is just getting 
just straight up outplayed. 99-97, they're once again in a position where they got to climb up a mountain. Asia Wilson cannot just keep doing this every game. Three seconds in the key, get out of there. I wonder if this forces them to foul, though. They only down by two. Was the foul really necessary? They high key just screwed themselves with that one. I ain't going to lie to you. Now they down by four with 24 on the clock. That's not going to work. If I'm the coach, Asia, run to that three in the corner, knock it down, and then we're going to foul, then knock down another three. God damn it. Y'all doing all these passes. What is this? Three-man weave? What are we doing? Asia, 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 all this pump faking, bro. Just go up. Thank you. That's not going to work out, though, because y'all just going to foul again and go right back down by four. Of course, Caitlin knocking down both of these. Y'all not getting her to miss. Seven, six, five foot, bro. They just so... Oh, my goodness. What? Thing is, though, y'all still got to foul. Why would she foul knowing that that was her last one? Anyways, Indiana wins, meaning Caitlin Clark wins the championship in just her second season in the league. They said she wasn't going to be a game changer. She already changing up the game. Finally, somebody beat the Las Vegas Aces. Somehow, though, Chelsea Gray wins finals MVP. How does the other team? We now get to the 2026 season. Let's see how the team is looking. Caitlin still a 99 overall, 23 years old. Shea Ingram, 99, 22. They the dynamic duo, for real, for real. Throw in Aaliyah Boston. You got the point guard, the shooting guard, and the center. That's the big three. Let's see what the rest of the league is looking like. All players, Asia Wilson, still number one in the league. Cardoso went up to a 98 overall. Angel Reese with a 97. I'm very surprised that Chicago. Chicago's not going way crazier. They got the Twin Towers. Like, who knows? Maybe they're going to turn up as soon as they get a good point guard. We're going to see, though. Off rip, Indiana is going crazy this season. Caitlin with her third All Star game appearance, having 24 points, nine rebounds, 11 assists, three steals, and one block. She's way more comfortable shooting 20 shots. Now you can tell that this is really starting to become her league. I can feel an MVP season coming real soon, but after Camila Cardoso, bro, she's running the draft class right now angel reese clutch player of the year bro yo caitlin we need some more awards more awards all WNBA first team not holding up no more she did way better than her first two seasons now she's caitlin clark from only 98 three-pointers made last year to 155 this year she's in her body that's her i got so much confidence in them uh chicago in the playoffs now i still got so much confidence i got so much confidence in them that i'm gonna just simulate the whole playoffs because i know that they're gonna win i just i, I just know i just they didn't win. This was just another one of those situations where she, um, the other team was the finals MVP, right? This is just another one of those. What is that? There's no way that they, they lost. But I had so much confidence in y'all. 19 and 12, 18, triple double. She had a triple double in the L. It's all right, though, because we're just going to take that L to the chin and go to the next season and win it all again. But this time with a better squad. We still got Shea Ingram on the team. That's the dynamic duo. She never leaving us. Now we got Brittany Griner as well, a great center. Along with Gray from Atlanta, I think that this team is going to be able to win another championship for Indiana. Cardoso and Angel Reese going down and overall Chicago I ain't gonna lie to you it's looking bad on that side listen if she's not there to win that MVP from us this might be Caitlyn's year this was not Caitlyn's year bro how are we losing to a 96 overall I think that is Shea Ingram fault bro if we didn't have another 99 on the team and she just got to do everything by herself we would be going so crazy doesn't make the all WNBA first team this year instead the all WNBA second team along with Cameron Brink Haley Van Lith Meg Kelly and Angel Reese her points per game went down to 20, but she would have nine rebounds and seven assists. Shooting went all the way back down. She must have took steroids in the third year. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because how do you go from 37 to 45, then back down to 39? Did you just stop training? I'm gonna simulate the round. Let's see. Does Indiana get past the Mercury? Yes, they do with ease. Moving on to the Las Vegas Aces in the semifinals. Do they got that in the bag? I'm gonna let that round go too. But they lose once again to the Aces in the Chicago versus Las Las Vegas in the finals. Who comes out on top? Las Vegas once again. Asia Wilson gotta have like 29 rings already. That brings us to the 2028 WNBA season. Caitlin Clark decides to leave the fever after losing to the Las Vegas Aces two times in a row and join the Phoenix Mercury as the main option with the backup of Haley Van Lith and Alana Smith. This is gonna be different. No more 99 overall. Shea Ingram to hold back our points. I think the MVP season is coming at age 
25. Never mind, her leaving might have been a terrible idea. I ain't gonna lie. Shay Ingram ends up winning the MVP, bro. You can't be serious. Imagine leaving in your duo that you're supposed to be better than wins the MVP. That's just tragic. And defensive player of the year. All right, we might have been holding her back. Caitlin once again on the all WNBA second team. What did she average this year? She had to average some crazy. This your first year with only you on the team? She had her first double double season of her career, averaging 20 points and 10 rebounds along with seven assists that triple double season might be coming soon but i don't know though because she's too inconsistent for me bro she would go up one season and then the next season she doing terrible it don't make no sense she faces her old team the indiana fever in the first round though game one has been all indiana 69 to 103 goodness gracious they just absolutely dominated them caitlin with only 10 points and 14 rebounds the mvp shea finishing with 28 points 15 rebounds and nine Nine assists along with four blocks. Indiana takes game one. Phoenix, y'all gotta tighten up or else y'all gonna be eliminated real quick. Game two was a completely different story. The Mercury tore the fever apart. Haley Van Lith finishing with 38 points. Okay, she almost dropped 40. Caitlin, that's supposed to be you though. Nine points, nine rebounds, eight assists. Series tied 1 1. Game two happened to be an absolute blowout. Eliminating Caitlin Clark and the Phoenix Mercury. Shea Ingram was the better player. Oh my goodness, bro. She got eliminated by her old team and only dropped six points in the final game. She didn't one for 13. Are you serious? If I simulate these playoffs and Indiana wins, bro, I was about to say, okay, the Atlanta dream come from out of nowhere led by Jewel Lloyd. Apparently, Caitlin Clark's favorite player is KD because she leaves the Phoenix Mercury after one season. Now joining May Kelly in the New York Liberty along with Cameron Brink. This team got potential, a lot of it. They go on to dominate the WNBA finishing second in the league. Shea Ingram once again winning MVP. Caitlin has gotten no awards, but she won a championship though, so that's good. Finally making a return to the all WNBA first team, averaging 27 this season along with nine rebounds, eight assists. Caitlin Clark is back. They faced the seven seed Dallas Wings in the first round. I got 100% confidence that they're going to win this at this point. At, at Y'all get eliminated in the first round, 25, 11, and 13. Hey, she should showing up now though triple double is crazy another first round elimination for caitlin clark can we make it to the finals ever again she once again leaves her team after losing in the first round what's up with all these one-year contracts wnba y'all cool with this and actually ends up not even playing on the team this season she just stayed in free agency the whole time i don't know how angel reese did the same exact thing or whoever that is i don't know if 2k got them getting pregnant and then they just missed a whole season but yeah they did it hop into any teams this season for some reason so we're just gonna simulate this get it over with clark making her return to the wnba in the 2031 season joining the los angeles sparks teaming up with her former college rival angel reese here we go so they both enter free agency missed the whole season so that they could join the same team i see what they did i see what they did you already know i had to get a game in with these two on the same team i really just want to play for three minutes that's all i need why are we leaving them wide open though like come on all these afros on the court we're going against the Jackson 5? What is this? Pass over there to Kaylin. Uh, girl, you better step up. Oh, oh, oh. O'Connor with the board, though. Hold on. Reese over there on the other side. Through the contact. Missed it. Let me get that 20 and 10 pick and roll going. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, ah. Uh dribbles uh oh oh wide open nobody stepping up on defense the new duo would dominate the wnba finishing second in their conference with a 29 and 11 record camilla cardoso winning mvp as a part of the storm bro if i see camilla cardoso and shay ingram once again bro they on the same team now caitlin clark winning her first award of this simulation clutch player of the year averaging 20.7 rebounds five assists one steal and 0.3 blocks la versus lv in the first round they get dominated by borderline 40 is crazy 40 point blowout is crazy i'm gonna just simulate the rest oh wait a minute they win a game they win a game they win game two advancing to the next round to face both of their former teammates shay and camilla this is gonna be tough for la shay and camilla been dominating the league winning back-to-back -back mvps for i don't know how many seasons now game one ends up being an absolute blowout 87 to 117 here we go we are gonna have to go through this all over again Caitlin had 29 points with six assists and three steals, though. Go 
going crazy in game one. Cardoso with 25 and 14. All right. Um, do we got this in the bag? Hey, hey, hey. We got beat by 40 in round one. If we could come back from that, we could come back from anything. They end up getting swept. Did we get swept by the champions, though, at least? Yes, we did. Okay, they beat the Indiana Fever in the finals. Camila Cardoso is running the WNBA right now. I don't think that is nobody better than her. That brings us to the 2032 season. Kaylin and Angel Reese stayed on the team. That's good. No more jumping squads. They got to get more help, though. It's not enough help at all. Simulating this season. Shea Ingram once again, bro. They just going back and forth on who wins it and who doesn't. This is crazy. Nobody touching that MVP besides these two players that's on the same team. Ruin and Caitlyn simulation, goddammit. All right. She had 21 points this year with eight rebounds, four assists, one steal, and .3 blocks again. A big surprise happened in the playoffs. I didn't expect them to make it to the finals. I thought that they was going to just get eliminated first round again. No problem. Seattle gets eliminated by Washington. That's crazy. She had to defeat both teams from her past to get to this point, beating the Mercury in round one, two, one, then Indiana in round two, three, two. Now I'm going up against the Minnesota Lynx. Who do the Minnesota Lynx got? Are they competition? We finna find out right now. McKinney with four. Oh, nah, this is light work. Oh, 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 oh. They end up winning it and Kaylin Clark gets the finals MVP award after averaging 26 points, 11 rebounds, and shooting an amazing 50% from the field, 43% from three. Kaylin Clark is a two-time champion, not to mention she won it along with Angel Reese. What did Reese do in this game? 19 and 17. She got the NCAA championship and the WNBA championship. Caitlin Clark now two rings in. I feel like it's only one last thing for her to get, and that's the MVP. They'd once again have a dominant season. Shea Ingram winning another one. God damn, bro. How many times do I got to see her win? Caitlin once again knocked down to the all WNBA second team. Her average is going way down this season. 16 points, six rebounds, five assists, one steal. She should have way less threes now. The digression is crazy already. She'd get eliminated by Washington in the first round. The year is 2034. Let's see. Is they still on the team? Yes, they are. Caitlin now going down to a 96. We can see her overall digressing now. Okay, 31 years old. The Sparks still having a great season. Shea Ingram wins another MVP, but how many does she got? How many? How many? How? 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 Six MVPs. This is Michael Jordan. I thought that Asia Wilson was the Michael Jordan. No, it's her. She had a very NBA Rookie of the year -ish stat line. Yeah, I think that Los Angeles time in the sun is done. They faced Angel Reese's former team, Chicago, in the first round. And they got out of there pretty quick, sweeping them 2-0. Reese finishing with a double-double in game one, 19 points, 17 rebounds, 10 assists. Burks and Tavkar taking over the team, 25 and 22 and 11. Caitlin with 14, 9 and 8. This is a championship squad. I know I say it almost every year, but this right here might be that one. Game two, Tavkar had 46 along with pulls 18 and Angel Reese's double-double 13 and 10. Caitlin wasn't even needed and she still almost got a triple-double. They going stupid. Going up against the Mercury in round two. Damn, bro. That great round one just to get eliminated in round two? What happened? 105 to 61 is crazy. These blowouts is just wild. Are the Storm about to win another championship? Bro. Following the Storm dominating the league yet again, the WNBA will completely shift around. Asia Wilson joining the Minnesota League. Shay Ingram leaving the team that she won multiple rings with to go to LA. Cameron Brink joining the Storm. Tavkar still on the spark. So Tavkar and Shay Ingram, the new duo. The duo of Kaitlyn Clark and Angel Reese split up. Kaitlyn joining the Dallas Wings and Angel Reese returning to her former teammate Camilla Cardoso on the Indiana Fever. Tavkar wins her first MVP. Okay, Shay Ingram had to take a back seat. No, she didn't. Defensive player of the year. Kaitlyn makes the All WNBA first team once again. Again, 20 points, eight rebounds, four assists, one steal. So she wasn't going down in stats. She just had to spread the ball more to Tavkar and Reese last season. That makes sense. Her percentage is looking absolutely great at age 32. 51% from the field, 45% from three. Also joining the all-defensive second team for the first time in a while. We ain't seen her on any all-defensive teams in a smooth minute. Sadly, though, she did not get a playoff spot. The Sparks make the finals, but they end up losing to the Mercury. I'm so happy. Now we get to the 2030 sixth season and Caitlin Clark at 33 years old decides to go back to the team that drafted her the Indiana Fever with a 92 overall joining the woman that beat her in the 2024 college championship game Camila Cardoso now with Camila by her side they dominate the WNBA Caitlin Clark finally getting her first MVP award averaging just 
points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 0.9 steals, and 0.2 blocks per game. Very well deserved. She had way better stat lines than this. That's the craziest part. She also wins Clutch Player of the Year. So, yeah, Kaylin Clark, hey, man, this might be the year for you. Executive of the Year goes to Tiana White, 25 and 15. Simulating the first round, she beats her former team, the New York Liberty, 2-0. Easy sweep. She had an amazing first round, averaging 22 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, shooting a 60% from the field and 61% from three. In the second round, they're going up against Sabrina and the Dallas Wings. Did they got this? We finna find out. No, they do not. They get eliminated 3-1. I thought that this was gonna be the team, bro. She teamed up with the old rival, bro. Camilla ain't putting in no pain. Look at that. Game three, Kaylin with 31 points. Where's Camilla at? Two? Two? We just gonna simulate the rest of this. The Mercury win another championship. The Mercury just two-peated back to back. In the 2037 season, Clark would decide that she didn't want to finish her career with the team that drafted her. Instead, joining the Atlanta Dream. I'm realizing now that she's been on every single team. 88 overall, 34 years old. I don't expect much from them this season. I ain't gonna lie to you. Barely makes the all WNBA second team with only 11 points per game, four rebounds, two assists. She's gonna be out of here very soon. The LA Sparks win the WNBA Finals led by Tav Clark. Kaitlyn Clark retires after 15 years. She had a very great career. Looking at these awards, she was a two-time WNBA champion, one-time MVP, Finals MVP, 13-time All-Star, eight-time first-team All-WNBA player, five-time second-team All-WNBA player, and if they had the All-WNBA defensive team, she would be a two-time of that. A very great career from her. Let me check out their WNBA records. She beat the most three-pointers made in the game record twice along with the most free throws made in the game record was 24. Second in the most three-pointers made in the playoff game race. Finished seventh for the most points made in the season in 2029. She holds the record for most three-pointers made in the season with 187 along with tying the record for most assists in the season with 374. Also holding the record for most three-pointers made in a career with 1,678. And that's her legacy right there. The best shooter in W WNBA history. Hey man, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. What do y'all think Kaylin gonna do in the WNBA? Do y'all think that she gonna take it over or will she be stopped by the much older woman? Let me know down below. Till next time, I'm out this thing. No peace.